Go up by another factor of a thousand, you get to a billion. Carl Sagan's favorite number. In fact, if you bring your chin out and say the word billion, it sounds beautiful. We'll do it together on three. Ready? First, stick your chin out. Okay, one, two, three, billion. Oh, isn't that beautiful? That's just beautiful. <laughs> That's just beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. Billion. That's a fun number. Anyone here 31 years old? Raise your hand. Got to be a few of you. Very nice. In this year of your life, you will live your billionth second. Um, yes, I'm geeky enough to have calculated this. <laughs> 31 years, 259 days, 1 hour, 46 minutes, and 40 seconds. But you have to account for leap days and leap seconds, okay? I'm going to try to make an app that'll do this, but I haven't done it yet. I've been busy doing other things. But I celebrated my own billionth second with a really small glass of champagne. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 50 of these billions, uh, let's see, I think a neighbor of yours, uh, is, he's a neighbor, right, isn't he, he's like, you see him around town, I presume, <laughs> not, okay, uh, his, his well, net worth is like 50 billion dollars, plus or minus, I don't know if you know how much that is, I, I don't believe you know, you don't. In fact, I'm certain you don't, because I'm going to tell, tell you. I will tell you how rich this man is. First of all, it's, I'm, I'm charmed by the fact that the patron saint of geeks is the richest man in the world. That's, that's, a, that's, that's a different world than it was when the richest people were sort of oil barons and steel barons. It's like a geek is the richest guy in the world. That's kind of cool. But 50, I, I did this math, because I walk along the street, you know, I, I have a job, and I own a home, and I'm walking down the street, and I see a coin in the street. My question to myself is, what is the smallest denomination coin that I'll bend down and pick up, okay? <laughs> Given the fact that I have a job, and I own a home. So, the penny is staying. I'm not getting the penny. The nickel... No, I'm not getting the nickel. Dime? If I'm not in a hurry, I'm picking up the dime. Okay? A quarter? Well, that's good for parking meters and laundry. Plus, it's a quarter, right? So I'm picking up the quarter. So for me, the boundary between picking up the coin and not is between a dime and a quarter. So I figured, let me ratio this up to that wealth and ask... How much money has to be laying in the street for Bill Gates to be too busy to pick it up? It's $45,000, okay? That's what it is. $45,000, I said, too busy. Somebody else get that. I'm, I got... That's how rich the man is, in case you didn't know.